Hi everybody and welcome to our NeoLoad mobile testing demo. So today we are going to walk through recording a mobile application both on a native application and browser based. We're going to simulate that bandwidth and then we're going to preview those results. So when we're recording in a native app we're going to connect the cell phone via Wi-Fi to the same network as NeoLoad and then configure the cell phone to use NeoLoad as a proxy and then we're going to start recording. So this is what that will look like. We're going to go into Twitter and just do a simple search for load testing. And then we are going to click on a result. So here's a scenario that we obtained at the end of that recording. But what we're going to want to do is make it a little bit more realistic. So we're going to go in to the search that was carried out on Twitter and we're going to make it variable. And to do that, we're just going to go up to the top bar here and click on our edit variables box and find the variable containing the Twitter search criteria. We're going to replace this with a variable and now your scenario is ready for load testing. So in addition to native applications, NeoLoad can also record mobile websites. And we're going to record straight from your PC by changing the browser's user agent. And we can do that by going up into tools, going to default user agents, and then selecting, let's say an iPhone 4S. So now that that's been edited, we can start our recording. Now we're going to go up and type in CNN homepage for our container before clicking on the homepage. And we're going to scroll to the bottom here. Then we'll enter forecast as our new container. We'll type in a city. And we'll display the weather for New York. So we're going to end our recording. And again, we're going to make this scenario a little bit more realistic by using a NeoLoad variable. So first what we're going to do is come over here, click on the weather, and then flag any requests that show up as New York. We'll then go into the weather container and make the city a variable. And as you can see, we've listed a few cities here, Barcelona, Tokyo, and Paris. And we're just going to go in and insert that variable. And now we're going to check the user profile's validity to just make sure that test case can run on your application without any issues. Perfect, the user is valid, and now we're going to take a look at the selected city. And as you can see, the city is no longer New York, but Barcelona, Spain. And the request details also show that this information is being sent to the server. So as we all know, mobile devices use networks that are less efficient than wire-based networks. So the conundrum becomes, how can we simulate bandwidth to ensure realistic tests? So we're going to show you how to do that in NeoLoad. And the first thing you're going to do is come up to the Populations tab. And here are three populations for simulating several types of networks. And each virtual user is going to have a bandwidth restricted to the set value. So what we're going to do is come down here and we're going to change the download speed as well as the upload speed. And then we'll choose a mobile browser. Perfect. So as you can see, you have a couple different options when it comes to populations. You can mess around with the Wi-Fi or the edge network speeds. But right now what we're going to do is take a look at the results from a 30 minute test. So at the end of the test, NeoLoad is going to provide a summary of the results. And what we're going to do is just scroll down and take a look at some of the graphs. So to view the differences between each of the network types, we filter the test results by population. And as you can see, the test results is broken down by population here. 
under our test results manager, and now we're going to compare the Wi-Fi and Edge networks. So Neoload is going to display the comparison summary here. We're just going to scroll down again. And the statistics are going to be compared in these columns. So now what we're going to do is come up into the Values tab. And the difference in network quality can be seen graphically in Neoload. For example, when we analyze the response times for an image. So let's do that. We'll click on one of our images, and we'll be able to see the edge response time here, noted by the dotted line, and then our Wi-Fi response time, which is just below that. So we can see that the Wi-Fi response times are obviously better. So these statistics will also allow us to quantify the result. So for this resource, the edge network was 270% slower than the Wi-Fi network. And that concludes the Neotis mobile testing demo. Thank you so much for joining us. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions or concerns. We hope to hear from you soon. Thanks.